All right, I'm just I'm just uh, doing this thing. You know, I'm just gonna go check on Chaz. I gotta act like I'm doing the thing, but at the same time, you know, I got a small window of opportunity. You know, I'm just gonna go around. Okay, he's not there. Okay, right, right, right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna unplug you. Just and then I gotta. Oh yeah, this is the bullshit part. It's bullshit, bullshit, bulls. Bullshit. 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 There we go. Bullshit. Just kind of do the whole... Oh, I lost it. There we go. Anyways, no one needs to hear that. This angle is completely bullshit because, you know, the guy, he's like, you want my tail? Yeah, you want my tail. You know, I'm a white-tailed lizard, you know. <laughs> you want what I You want what I got? You know what I'm all about. And it's like, yeah, I know what you're all about. I want that stamina increase. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me the stamina. It makes me very, very... And like, dude, man, this guy, he's striding, he's striding like there's no tomorrow. He's a pimp. This lizard, man, he's a pimp. He's a player. I can't even get him because he's like trying. I don't even know. Anyways, I'm just gonna angle myself right here and then I'm gonna like go ever so slightly. Oh, man, this might be it. This might be. I did it. I did it. And no one will ever know the difference of me trying to aim ever so slightly. Sure, it was one of those moments where all of y'alls are like, he, he got this, he wouldn't post it if he didn't. But you don't know me, you don't know what I got going on. This is part 16, and all of y'alls are like, yo, so about that denial. And it's like, yeah, what about that denial? What denial? <laughs> so, uh, something to note as as something I found out because you know that happens uh, you can go right here and there's a lizard guess what it's another white tail lizard that's right we got a twofer going on right here a twofer get that double stamina increase I'm gonna need it you guys have no idea not at all. You know what? Not. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh man! Welcome to part 16, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, I hope you're ready for a little bit of heartache from my end, you know. And you guys listening, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna digress until we get there. Here's like a was a destroyed city or something. The remnants of some sort of destroyed city. Personally, I don't really understand it. It just looks like some sort of stone structure. For what purpose? I have no idea. I have absolutely none. Maybe it was some sort of stadium. I mean, I kind of get that vibe, but honestly, uh, all of this is kind of questionable in a lot of ways. And I bring this up because, you know, they're, they're trying to pass these stone structures off to, like, some sort of city. But I don't understand what city like about it. I mean, where's the homes? Where's the beds? Where did people do the things? Where's the kitchen? Did people even eat? Like, did they store food in something like this? I don't get it. Is this like the storage unit? Like the warehouse? What part of the city is this? What am I to infer on any of this? I mean, again, it kind of has an arena vibe to it, but, you know, I, I can't really make out what I'm supposed to get from this whole entire thing. It's all a mystery. Maybe it's the civilization, you know, maybe if you have horns, everything has a whole nother meaning to it, because, you know, the civilization, some of them do, some of them don't. I don't get it. I don't get it, and I'm stalling. guy welcome to the guy i try to deny but at the same time i can never forget because he always comes back once again in your face with his giant ass sword here to stab you or at the very least crush you with it uh point is this guy he's a dick in so many ways a lot of these colossus you might be noticing i've been saying that about them some sort of male genitalia 
I mean, it comes to mind, but at the same time, that's not the point. It's all irrelevant. This guy, this is the real pain in the ass. <sighs> but we're not there yet. This is just the first phase of it. How to get on to said Colossus. Uh, so, what he does... There's a method to all this, and it's a bit of a puzzling method, because you might not understand how to do any of it, and it'll cause you a lot of headache, pain. Well, first off, these little platform things, they can they can go up like that, you know, they, you can slope them up, because you need them to do that. And a lot of this is all just that, you need them to do everything for you. And it's not good to rely on this Colossus, I hate it, in fact. <laughs> oh fuck you comes to mind. The point is, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just shooting some arrows. It's therapeutic, believe you and me. If only I could kill him this way, that would be fantastic. You might be wondering, Gildum, what is your issue? Well viewers, let me tell you something. When you spend about two hours trying to figure out how to do in a practice run no one understands your lament except you because you're the only one that cares and it's the saddest truth but i digress because you know this isn't the practice run this is the real run you know things are going to happen thoughts have already occurred like uh methods have already been calculated something along those lines you know it's not really that haphazardous but at the same time it's still gonna be a pain in the butt none of you understand but because I have to take the high road as the commentator and the LP, I might as well get into it. So, you rely on a giant Wungus here to make a pathway for you to do the things. You're still gonna have to rely on him all the same, but the point is now we're at a high altitude. We got the high ground. And as we all know, that's the best place to be, right? I mean, Star Wars taught me that or something along those lines. The point is, now he's doing the thing, he gets pissed off very easily. He'll knock you down by doing this. Oh yeah, if lust, for, lust of power, lust of whatever was ever used by Dormin in any of these, lust of destruction, uh, this guy. This guy, he really destroys everything. He wrecks house. But anyways, welcome to actually getting onto the Colossus. Now, the next traveling part is trying to be able to stab the Colossus. Because you're going to try a lot. You're going to try an absolute shit ton. And he's always going to just headbang all over the place. Sure, there's no metal. It doesn't make any sense because really that's the only thing that applies to headbanging. But, you know, I can't think of a better term because that's all he does. He's just like... Uh, he can't stab me as long as I keep in motion, and you know what? The window of opportunity is so small. He can't even fully charge your thing. You only got like a dinket. A literal dinket, like so. That's about the best you'll ever get in trying to make this happen. And it's bullshit. It's so bullshit, just trying to get the timing. How I managed to do it twice is beyond me. Maybe I've actually picked it up. Maybe I've gotten it down. Maybe I've actually managed to figure out how to video game through all my failure. You know, generally the method that the gamers use to figure out how to do a thing when one method doesn't work, they learn how to do another one. But all the same, <laughs> all the same, it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. No one likes it. I don't like it. This Colossus is an absolute dick. He deserves to die in every step of the method. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I did forget this guy well, for the most part. Not even in my first run, although I managed to block most of it out. Maybe I suppressed it. And then when I fought it, it all came out like some sort of open wound reopened. I don't even know. I probably didn't say that right, but no one gives a shit. Also, second part, because he's flailing you around with this head banging. You're going to run out of stamina. Doesn't matter how decked out you are, it's just a thing that happens. Oh, by the way, did I mention the more decked out you are, the slower your stamina seems to recharge. And by recharge, I mean, I think it's because it's so big that, you know, that the rechargeability to it just looks slower. It's annoying, is what I'm really getting at. So, you know, just take my word. This whole thing, annoying. It's so annoying that you try to block it out from your mind and it becomes a pain in the butt. And believe it or not, 
<laughs> oh, the real, the real interesting thing that I find hilarious. Believe it or not, I say this is the hardest Colossus, you know, it takes the, it's the most time consuming. You know, you figure number 16 being the final boss. I mean, come on, all these Colossus are pretty much a boss fight in and of the, themselves. But the 16th Colossus is easy peasy in comparison to this because I can't think of a better term to use to describe it. It's all bullshit is really what I'm trying to say. All bullshit. Mm. So, you know, you figure, hey, Gildum, you seem to be doing all right. Am I? Am I? I was, and then I lost it. Oh, that's how this Colossus fight goes. <laughs> it's head clip that's gone now. So I know what you're saying. You're like, Gil. Did you really just fast forward to, like, make this more or less bearable? And it's like, yes. Yes, I did. Because the, all of it is bullshit. And I just don't give a fuck anymore. This guy broke me in some way or another. I don't know. It took a toll on my mental state. So you might be wondering, Gilda, what do you do now? I mean, where did the lift go? In the most bullshit place imaginable. On his hand. And I know what you're saying, Gilbert, what? <laughs> what? Well, you see, viewers, what you gotta do is be ever so careful to drop onto his armband. And yes, if you fail this, you're gonna have to do it over again. <sighs> oh, thanks, Stormy! You're really helping me out now. Oh, by the way, weak point, stab it. Just, just do it. That didn't fling me off. You'd think it would. No, it didn't. <laughs> I, I get it. His weak point is in his hand. You couldn't see it before because, you know, he's gripping his sword. But just, just trust me. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. That's why you'd knock the sword out so you can do this. Mm. And so I decided that cutting it would be the bad method. Because let's be honest, at this rate, Gildum's gonna be losing it very heavily. Oh man. As much as you try to deny it, as much as you try to deny it, and you try to flub up, eventually you get it. Third time's a charm, right? Now if you need to see that. <laughs> Just like that clipping. No, you need to see that. <laughs> I'm on the fur of his palm of his hand. Isn't there an old wife's tale that says that if you masturbate, that happens or something? Well, I guess that's saying something about this guy, but no one gives a shit. Because if he dies, my sanity is restored. You know what? It's done. It's good. We're good. Fuck you. Fuck you. to do that. I needed to. I No sorrow. No sorrow whatsoever. My victory is you doing this, whatever this is. No, that's not guilt, that's happiness. You know, I was faking in the last part, but this, the general joy is happy. Me smiling now. <laughs> Enunciate and try to use proper grammar, probably not so well, but hey, I feel good about my actions, because that guy... <laughs> Some of you might say, but Gildum, it's all self-defense. I mean, think about it. If you were the Colossus, would you have done that? And it's like, no, if I was the Colossus, I would have outright killed the guy. But hey, I'm not the Colossus. I am the guy controlling the other dude that's trying to kill the Colossus.
I did it. I did it. We're on number 16, everybody. Oh, man. Darlene's excited. I'm excited. And relieved. Good lord, man. You guys will never know because I tried to make that more bearable than you guys will ever understand. And yeah, I admit, maybe I went into a little bit of a dark place and I'm sorry, man. Some of these colossus, they take a toll on your soul and you just, yeah, yeah. It leaves a void somewhere in the heart and then you stop feeling guilty and you just feel rage and anger. It's not pleasant, man. Maybe that's the shadow of the colossus. But I digress, you know, because, uh, symbolism or whatever have you game it's a game man <laughs> you can't take it that seriously or something along the lines i don't really know point is 16th colossus everybody where it's at hand victory at hand stuff is gonna happen oh man you know i got if i remember and i might be not remembering correctly uh the ending is really long so uh, next part, the last part, you know, it might just be a really long episode, but at the same time, I'm willing to take that factor, because, uh, let's be honest, why cut the ending from the, from the final Colossus fight, you know? So, uh, the final part might be super long, but, you know, at the same time, I think it's worth it. I think we did a thing. I think I'm heading in the right direction. Because, uh, it, it, final confrontation, everybody. Final fight. Oh, it's going to be so epic. It's going to be amazing. Uh, there's a couple dickish moments. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I'd like to say that everything's going to go smooth and everything's going to be fantastic. And I did practice. But at the same time, I mean, it's still no 15. And that, that's the best part. You know, it's not me lamenting, having, like, all these dark thoughts and being like, <laughs> lament. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, you know, there, there's like, there might be like, oh man, or something along those lines, you know. Uh, but either way you look at it, I'm not worried too much about the 16th. I'm not really like super just, I don't want to do this, or I'm not in denial. Yeah. I'm just going to try to get to the gate so I can end this part, and then everything will be happy. Everything will be hunky-dory, and it'll be over, and I never have to think about this again until I go edit it in post. Because, I mean, that's something I have to do. But, hey, I'm not worried about that. It's super easy. I, I got most of the hard stuff out of the way. I, I'm, I'm, everything's happy. Yeah. Everything's all good, you know, because I, I got to go to the yeah. gate. Because, uh, little do you know, there's a gate to go to the Six Colossus. It's all cinematic, everybody. It's all cinematic. Everything's getting to the point where it's like final confrontation. Everything's getting epic. It's all building up. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, it's all good, man. Some of you may never have played this. I know one co-worker who told me that, and so he's kind of watching this. And that's cool, you know, I say, hey, whatever you feel, man, it's all good. Because, I mean, I'm looking forward to the final confrontation. It's, it's a good fight, I like it, it's fun, it's happy. Uh, fuck all these cliffs. Why I didn't do this in the first place is beyond me. Uh, because it's too slow, man. Why not just jump off of it, get your horse to, like, spawn over yonder, and then, uh, we'll just resume, you know? Because, um, you know, traveling on foot isn't always the worst idea, and I want to make this as quick as possible. It's, it's getting a little monotonous. I don't really want to deal with this any more than I have to. So, I'm gonna do that. I, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be happy about everything, and then we'll move on with our lives, and everyone will be happy. Or at least I'll choose to believe that. <clears throat> I think I've gotten myself into some sort of mental loop, so forgive me, viewers. Forgive me. It's just one of those things that, that's like, I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm all right. We gotta do the thing. There's a glowy thing over yonder. We gotta get to that. And I'm gonna end the video right when we get there. And it's all gonna be fantastic. It's all gonna be good. I just noticed something outside my window. There's a car. I don't know why. It's in the lawn. Uh, that's random. No one gives a shit about that. Uh, so, yeah. Next time. 
It's gonna be cinematic. Things are gonna happen. I'm gonna make this door open, and we're all gonna go fight the final Colossus, and then witness the beautiful ending that is all cinematic, and it's all getting epic, and it all keeps adding up. I think I've had enough.